We are also tracking reports tonight China used American-made technology to spy on the U.S. According to the Wall Street Journal, debris recovered from the Chinese spy balloon that floated over the U.S. earlier this year confirms American tech was used to help China collect surveillance video and information. Now, officials from several defense and intelligence agencies are investigating the balloon. They say it was crammed with commercially available U.S. gear. I spoke with Pentagon Press Secretary Brigadier General Patrick Ryder about this investigation. Take a listen. I've seen the, the press reports that you're talking about in terms of uh, American technology, and, and I don't have anything to provide on that particular investigation. What I will tell you is that, uh, you know, broadly speaking, uh, what we've seen elsewhere throughout the world uh, is uh, various capabilities employing commercial off-the-shelf technology uh, that, that you could buy, you know, through an online service, for example, and so in, in things like drones or, or other uh, tech capabilities. So, you know, just to put things into context, uh, as it as it relates to uh, the the PRC high altitude balloon, uh, a, again, it, indications are that um, that it was not able to collect intelligence while it was uh, going over the United States. Uh, but again, we'll we'll continue to look at this, and uh, you know. If, if there's anything new to provide, we certainly will. And the U.S. is considering new restrictions on artificial intelligence chip sales to China, meanwhile. Uh, what is the risk of China having U.S. artificial intelligence technology or having AI tech that is more advanced than our own? So, you know, when it when it comes to uh, transfer of chip technology uh, and things like that, you know, I don't have any specific announcements to make in terms of steps we're taking. I think broadly speaking, we continue to see China present the pacing challenge to the United States. It's the only country uh, that has the capabilities uh, and the potential intent uh, to uh, challenge us and our interests around the world. Uh, and so we're going to continue to work with our partners and our allies in the region and around the world uh, to ensure uh, that countries can continue to fly where international allows, to sail where international law allows, uh, and continue to preserve peace and stability throughout the Indo-Pacific region. Uh, one more major topic for you, Brigadier General. Senator Marco Rubio this week said that the UFO whistleblower, former Air Force vet David Grush, is not the only high-level government official to come forward with UFO claims. Earlier this year, the Pentagon reported more than 360 unidentified aerial phenomena. Can you confirm if there is non-human life that has been seen or collected by the Department of Defense? Well, as I, I think you've heard uh, other officials from DOD say, you know, to to my knowledge, uh, at this point, we have not seen anything that would con that we would consider, um, you know, extraterrestrial or um, non-human uh, life uh, at, at this point. And you know, a key point here is, as you know, we've stood up in office uh, to look at these aerial phenomenon, and we, of course, as always, welcome any new inputs new information, uh, all of which is taken seriously and all of which is closely looked at. Brigadier General, um, the 4th of July is just around the corner and our country celebrates its 246th birthday. Um, our armed forces and military have played, of course, such an important role in protecting democracy and the rights and freedoms of all Americans. How do you see our armed forces and their role in the world uh, changing in the future? Yeah. So, so first of all, uh, you know, as coincidence coincidence would have it, this Saturday, July first, actually is the 50th anniversary of the all volunteer force here in the United States. So, uh, so we really get two celebrations in one. You know, to include July 4th, as you highlighted, and and that's important for a reason. Since July of 1973. Every single person who raises their hand and takes an oath to protect our nation and protect our Constitution has done that out of conviction, not out of compulsion. And so you see service members over the last five decades uh, voluntarily signing up to be a part of something that's bigger than themselves and part of something that's important. Uh, and so today's military truly represents the most combat, uh, combat credible, combat capable fighting force that the world has ever seen. Uh, and as we move forward, we are committed to ensuring that that stays uh, the same, whether it's now or well into the future. Um, so uh, super proud of all of our men and women serving in uniform around the world and everything they do on a daily basis, 24 seven to keep us all safe here at home. All right, Pentagon Press Secretary, Brigadier General Patrick S. Ryder, appreciate your time as always. Thank you so much.
Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.